false teeth from beyond the stars. They came from outer your mouth. Our story begins here in the wrinkly granny rest home somewhere in England. The residents are enjoying a well-deserved sleep after a hard day sleeping. When suddenly, something very strange happened. From every mouth, every glass, every coat pocket, the menacing molars were on the move. Everywhere, false teeth were revolting, especially those owned by Mrs. Barbara Entwistle of 26 Vicarage Grove, Woking, who used them to scrape out the cat tray. They were all heading here, the big park. The big question, would they get past this man, crack park keeper Henry Busybody, Mr. Keep Off the Grass, 1965? The big answer, yes. Bye-bye, Busybody. But why were the teeth determined to get into the park? The swings were all tied up for the night, and the ice cream kiosk was closed. What was the big attraction? Hypnotized by the strange light, they all moved to one point. Where stood a vast and sinister alien craft, a monumental spaceship in the shape of a giant tooth. It was eerie, or to be more accurate, it was toothy. Where had it come from? And who or what was the awesome creature emerging from it? It certainly got the false teeth excited. Why is this hideous monster laughing? Is he mad? Is he crazed? Or has he just heard the one about the man who crossed a sheep with a kangaroo and got a woolly jumper? Find out in next week's teeth-rattling episode of False Teeth from Beyond the Stars. False Teeth from Beyond the Stars, a Unidental production. Good evening. Reports are coming in from all over the country. Some reports are very good, most are average, and listen to this one. Geography 15% poor, history 12% useless, English 20% could do gooder. Hmm. Oh, and we've just heard that all false teeth in Britain have mysteriously disappeared, which means one in three people are walking around with an empty mouth. The government are to step in. Our reporter, Simon Safari Jacket, earlier today spoke to the Minister for False Teeth, John Lower Gummer, and asked him how grave the situation was. Meanwhile, in the Government Dental Research Laboratory, Roger Prentice, the apprentice dentist, is working late with his lovely assistant, Lily O'Lovely. Lily, look at this. What is it? It's a microscope. Oh, it's marvellous. Roger Prentice, the apprentice dentist here. No tooth too small, no cavity too large. I see. Who was it? The Minister for False Teeth. What did he say? He said... That bad, eh? I'm afraid so. I think he wants me to get to the root of this false teeth business. Roger, you know, I think some evil power is behind this. And how right she was. False teeth were on the move. From the four corners of the globe, dentures were dropping out and falling in. Greetings, fellow falsies. Thank you. It stopped chattering. I can't. I'm nervous. Hail, Earth teeth. I come from a different galaxy far away, where it is teeth who are the superior beings. He's got a lovely set of molars, hasn't he? Mm. No more will you be spat upon by the humans. No more will you be down in the mouth. No more will you be fed up to the back gums. Tomorrow, the upper set will get the upper hand. Tomorrow! 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 Excuse me. What is it? Does it have to be tomorrow? Only I was thinking nipping out for a bite tomorrow. Silence! Humans out! Teeth in! Humans out! Teeth in! Humans out! Teeth in! Humans out! Teeth in! Will the menacing molars munch their way to supremacy? Will head teeth lead his well-drilled truth to victory? Find out in the next incisive episode of False Teeth from Beyond the Stars, next week on Round the Bend. False Teeth from Beyond the Stars, a Unidental production. It's time for another thrilling episode of False Teeth from Beyond the Stars, the story so far. And so the world is in the grip of an army of false teeth. Mamma mia! Oh dear! I don't believe it! I say, 
Only one man can save the planet Earth. Unfortunately, he's on holiday in Spain. Hello, ma'am! So we turn instead to this man. Oh, dear, oh, dear. This is terrible. Truly awful. What is it, Roger? Rick Astley. Oh, it's awful. Oh, but, Roger, what are we going to do about the false teeth? What false teeth? The false teeth that have rebelled, caused havoc to millions of people, and threatened to take over the world. Oh, those false teeth. I have a plan. We like to sing and like to shout. We like, like to sing, sing and like to shout. False teeth in, humans out. False teeth in, humans out. Quick, Lily, we must capture it somehow. Wait, I have an idea. Quick thinking, Lily. Ah, foolish earthlings, your efforts are futile. Soon, your planet will be in our hands, and we will... Uh, 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 what is it? Oh, I hate to quibble, no enameled one, but teeth don't have hands. Well, 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 you know what I mean. If we did have hands, then the planet would be in them. Well, yeah, it'd have to be pretty big hands, though, wouldn't I? Mm. But, but, well, I mean, you know, a pair of hands to hold an entire planet. I mean, yes, well, that's true, you know, it's actually. quite big, I think. Oh, well, an entire much. planet would be, yeah. Oh, for God's sake, well, you well, just well, shut well, up. Will oh, Roger no, Prentice, the apprentice dentist, oh, find a way of destroying the army of teeth? Will Head Teeth ever get those other two to shut up? Oh, well, that answers that one. Tune into next week's thrilling episode of False Teeth from Beyond the Stars when you'll hear Roger Prentice say... Clan fair puk when gigo gerrit when robo lanticilio go, go, go. False Teeth from Beyond the Stars, a unidental production. The world is in the grip of the killer false teeth. The RAF is up in the air, the Navy is all at sea, and the Army is a group of men who march around in a straight line shouting a lot. In his laboratory, Roger Prentice, the apprentice dentist, is examining a pair of alien false teeth that he has captured. Good idea to keep them in my hamster cage, eh, Lily? Yes, but it's a pity you didn't take the hamster out first. Yes, I shall miss Hemi. There must be something which can destroy these teeth. If only we had something to go on. There's always the lavatory. Oh, don't be silly, Roger. What we really need is a lead. Here's a lead. That's no good. But look what's on the end of it. I bet the teeth will be no match for this fellow. <laughs> they have nothing that will defeat my killer teeth. Well, they have, actually, but I'm not telling them that. <laughs> cackle, cackle. I can watch this all day. But unfortunately, it's time for neighbors. Everybody. Meanwhile, in the military HQ of Colonel Handlebar Mustache. Okay, everybody, gather round. This is Private Nasher Mega Teeth Chomp Nasty, the strongest teeth in the army. How can he help us defeat Head Teeth and his killer army? If we can find a substance that Nasher can't chew, then we might be close to a solution. Brilliant. Okay, Nasher, eat this cast iron chalk ice. <laughs> <laughs> so much for that. Next, try this tungsten steel jelly, baby. Oh, dear. Wait, there is one thing even harder than that. Mm -hmm. My Auntie Ethel's apple crumble. Oh, yes. Mm. Here we are, nice and hot. Okay, Nasha, get stuck in. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, we should have had a spot of custard with it. This could be it. Let's throw some crumble to the teeth. Dash, 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 dash. There's only one thing for it. Listen, Colonel, I hope you're not going to suggest something stupid like a small controlled nuclear explosion. Don't be daft. I'm going to suggest an enormous uncontrolled nuclear explosion. Step those teeth to an atomic bomb immediately. Does this mean that the teeth from outer space are utterly invincible? Does this mean the world is doomed? What will happen in the next thrilling episode with False Teeth from Beyond the Stars? False Teeth from Beyond the Stars, a unidental production. The planet Earth has been devastated by an army of false teeth. I know it sounds silly, but let's face it, if we're fast, we can make it to number one, then anything is possible. Once magnificent monuments are now derelict ruins. The Great Wall of China, the Taj Mahal, Birmingham City Center. Ah, hang on, Birmingham City Center has always looked like this. It seems nothing can stop the teeth. The army has tried everything it knows. Mindless violence, mindless violence, and more mindless violence. Only one man has a hope of saving the world. Roger Prentice, the apprentice dentist. Although, to be honest, this is now episode five, and he's, he 
You're still getting nowhere fast. Look, you stick to doing the announcements and I'll stick to saving the world. <clears throat> he is ably assisted by Lily O'Lovely, his beautiful assistant, who, in my opinion, should have a much bigger part in this serial. Why, thank you. Thank you. Right, that's it. You're fired. Who, me? Yes, you. Oh. Lily, we must talk to Colonel Handelbaum Stout. Roger, Roger. Colonel, the enemy are always one step ahead. It is my belief we have a spy in our midst. A spy? But who? I don't know. I, I just have a hunch. Well, no, no. well, you can't see it. You must have a very good tailor. Silence. I am Head Teeth, your new leader, you foolish earthlings. <laughs> Head Teeth, tell us, what are your aims? My aims? Uh, my aims? Uh, well, uh, in the long term, my aims are to be incredibly evil, to talk in this silly, croaky way, and cackle at the end of each sentence. <laughs> oh, uh, and to meet Michael Jackson. Uh, now, look outside. <laughs> you are surrounded. There is no escape. <laughs> cackle. Oh, no. There's only one thing we can do now. What's that? Panic. Ah! Hmm. Well, as I've been fired, I am not going to say. Will Roger Prentice, apprentice dentist, overcome the menace of the false teeth? Find out in next week's gripping episode of False Teeth from Beyond the Stars. So there. False Teeth from Beyond the Stars, a Unidental production. Roger, Lily, Colonel Handlebar Mustache are in Roger's lab, which is being besieged by the killer teeth. The safety of the whole world rests on Roger's shoulders, as does a few bits of dandruff. I can't stand it. The isolation is driving me crazy. Here we are, covered from food, water, civilization. I can't take much more. How long have we been here now? Two minutes. Oh. Hello? What? No, I can't do your son's filling today. I am saving the world from an alien army of killer false teeth. How about Thursday, 9.45? Okay. Who was that, Roger? Some woman whose son's teeth have fallen out from eating too many sweets. Oh, but Roger, that's it. Sweets cause tooth decay. Really? That's brilliant. Of course. But we need millions to rot the army of falses. Wait, I've just remembered. I think somewhere in this lab I used to have a huge warehouse full of sweets and chocolates. Now, if only I could remember where it was. Oh, this is absolutely terrible. I cancelled neighbours because the cricket has overrun. I better see how my teeth are getting on. Oh, they found our weak spot. The sweet tooth. I must zoom back to my planet before the decay reaches me. Hey, Colonel, hear that? Head Teeth is planning to zoom back to his planet before the decay reaches him. Quick, let's get after him. But we don't know where he is. Look, he's there on the other side of the screen. We know you're in there, Head Teeth. I think it's so long, folks. Time for Head Teeth. Hey, wait a minute. I'm not getting anywhere. Oh, no! I've been clapped! Good old traffic wardens. Yes, evil has been defeated by evil. So, it's a happy ending after all. Uh, uh, if you're going to make this a slushy romantic ending, I think I'll leave the room. Oh, Roger, you were so brave, so heroic. You were wonderful too, oh. Lily. Excuse me, I think I'm going to throw up. And so, Roger wins the love of lovely Lily O'Lovely. When the Queen heard of how Roger Prentice, the Prentice Dentist, had saved the world, she called him to Buckingham Palace, had him shown to the Hall of Knighthood, where she personally made Roger a nice cup of piping hot tea. Night, night.